Fox 5 cameras capturing the latest phase of Formula One construction. Ahead of the Las Vegas Grand Prix, crews are installing lights throughout the resort corridor. They're going to be working along the strip through Friday. Future construction is planned along Sands, Koval, parts of Harmon. Drivers can expect rolling lane closures overnight. And that's just part of the F1 work that's still ahead. Beginning at the end of the month, bridges are going to be installed. You can see these are going to allow vehicles to travel over the racetrack while it is still active. Two are going to be built on Harmon, and the largest bridge is going to require 10 days of work on Flamingo and Koval. 70 days to go. Workers around the strip are asking for answers. How will they get to work? How will you get around? Fox 5 is getting answers from Clark County and Formula One. When F1 rolls into town, how will 100,000 fans a day and 100,000 strip employees get to the strip every day? How long will it take you? I've been hearing about this since about June. The workers have to be our number one priority, but they also need solutions today. County Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick says she's gotten an earful and is pushing for answers and solutions to make your commute easier on race week. And think of the other tourists and conventions in town at the same time. I think they're making real progress each day. The timeline gets a little bit tighter for them. Formula One tells us we're working very closely with the resort partners and businesses that will be impacted by the road closures on parking plans. Specifics around employee parking plans will be shared directly by employers in the coming weeks. Here's a brief synopsis of how you can get around. F1 says to Fox 5 and the Clark County Commission, most sidewalks are open to the public. Alternative routes will be provided. Employee parking plans will be shared directly by the employer. Worker options include monorail, shuttle service, remote parking. Employees inside the circuit may need to take the monorail if they park off-site. Here's some monorail details. Thursday, November 16th at 7 a.m., ending Monday, November 21st at 3 a.m., monorail is going to run for 24 hours a day. F1 attendees will be using the monorail, but anyone can take the monorail. We will get there um, to ensure that you can get to work on time and still have your family life. Kirkpatrick says RTC is now working on buses for workers and tourists, just like we see on game days. F1 is going to make its next major presentation at the next county meeting, but she says workers should be getting more answers on transportation plans starting next week.